we, uh, together with my colleague Anton Shepulin, are going to tell you about the evolution of uh, Kix product. Uh, we'll summarize what have we done uh, for recent four years. Uh, actually, uh, I would like to mention that uh, many of you probably have seen something in our uh, exhibition zone. Uh, our guys uh, were talking about kicks, uh, new kicks, mainstream. And I'd like to mention that actually today we have introduced a new, totally new product uh, to you in kicks for networks. Absolutely new. And uh, uh, to uh, recall, uh, we would like to re make a, a recap uh, f from the very beginning and uh, the interface of this product uh, during the, these last three years we have accumulated a lot of experience and lots of new facts, interesting facts, how to uh, present the information about the project uh, products uh, which uh, uh, enable detection of uh, anomalies in the networks and how the uh, uh, user interface uh, evol uh, what evolution di did it have? So now, what I would like to introduce is an absolutely new user interface, uh, how it looks in 2018. So you can see the uh, dramatic difference. So this new interface have accumulated all our solutions. We have reworked completely the whole design and com completely new uh, v view. And as I mentioned before, I also introduce, uh, yeah, interface is, is very well, but uh, the product itself is not just interface. It's uh, all about many other things. So the m important fact, another important fact I would like to demonstrate and show you today, we integrated uh, the function into our product, which enables you in real time to identify the nodes in the industrial network uh, I'm talking about hosts uh, which are being uh, uh, managed by Windows and Linux. But except for that, the system identifies the industrial equipment inside the industrial network, like uh, PLCs, intellectual electronic devices, uh, if we talk about energy sector, for example. And uh, to show you how it works, it looks like about something like this. Uh, there is a list of uh, nodes which system detects in real time automatically and for each node it collects uh, in a passive mode a number of parameters uh, not only uh, MAC and IP address but for operation system hosts uh, which are working under Windows Linux it co collects the versions of the operating systems and other parameters it all is being done on automatic mode if we're talking about the industrial devices the system can automatically identify the equipment and uh, the version uh, uh, which is uh, installed in this uh, particular device. And what else is important? Kaspersky Labs is uh, providing the service in the frame of uh, work of which the uh, renewal is being uh, performed automatically. If you buy kicks and, for example, you uh, order the services uh, for, uh, you get the uh, identificators of the equipment uh, to be able to tell Siemens equipment like 1,500 uh, and this ident identifier uh, gets to you on the, on the basis uh, on the, uh, in an automatic mode and the system says yes I'm able to uh, detect this new equipment. This is very good in general but uh, uh, yes that we added this function but this is not yet all of it. This is a new product and a very good addition. Uh, another important feature we have added to our product and which we have uh, actually anticipated for a long time, the map of the system which enables to visualize the uh, picture or big picture and uh, to, uh, yeah, I have a screenshot and. Uh, what I would uh, show you how it works uh, in real-time mode on a virtual machine. On this, so you can see the interface I just mentioned before. 
I will switch to uh, network mapping and uh, launch the traffic which will generate uh, hosts to us. Okay, let's do it this way. All right, let, let, let's wait for a while and see what it gets to us. Yeah, everything's working fine. So let's see uh, what happened. We have uh, checked the traffic. The system had identified the nodes which it found uh, in industrial network. And now what system uh, allows us to do? So it's, it continues uh, generating something else. So first of all, you can uh, uh, see the scaling. Uh, we've seen it on our model, which we shown uh, in our exhibition zone. You know, first of all, when I click the host, which looks like a controller, uh, it's, it has a pictogram. Uh, so now you can see that this is Siemens. Uh, as a manufacturer and the model uh, number not uh, all dictionaries are available so it's a technical preview so the dictionaries will be checked and after, instead of this identif identifier you will see the exact model of the particular manufacturer what else let's uh, look at any other host uh, let's say let's take this one you see that the uh, system automatically uh, identified MAC address and IP address, and uh, it has detected the operational system, and uh, uh, sh it shows that probably it is Windows uh, uh, or something else. And according to this uh, traffic, we can see, but uh, with time, uh, receiving more and more information, uh, the system can uh, change its uh, conclusion. So, for example, it says, now, now I can see this is Windows uh, uh, 8 or something else. So it corrects the information on, on real-time basis. Uh, then, it, when we take a, a communication, the system uh, defines the a list of protocols which were identified uh, and uh, they uh, show us uh, how many bytes uh, uh, went through this particular element. What else? Okay, and it shows the information between whom and whom this communication actually uh, had performed. So this is our network map. Let's come back to our uh, presentation. Okay, let's get back to our slides. Uh, undoubtedly, this is probably the closest uh, uh, conclusion that this is a pretty much different system. It has the different approach, different mechanics. We, we've, uh, uh, we had uh, event-centric approach before, uh, and now everything rotates around nodes, around assets which uh, actually form this industrial network. And the events are related to particular uh, uh, devices which represent uh, this industrial network. So this is very important uh, improvement which we had been able to perform. And this is not all. We have switched uh, our approach from event-centric uh, to device-centric, but it's impossible to live without events because uh, events identify what ha really happens in the network. And we had a big problem which we did not really understand um, pretty much uh, enough. Uh, and we were trying to find the mechanism which would enable us to structure all those events which operator can receive on our systems. So we really worked hard, and we have been able to uh, correlate uh, and uh, analyze the uh, attack uh, if it happens to uh, make operator concentrate their attention on a certain thing. 
so we uh, added this uh, possibility in our product, and I will show you again how it works in real-time mode. So, dear colleagues, uh, let's look at this. Uh, I will launch the traffic again, as we did, and we'll see with you what uh, would happen. So the traffic is uh, going through. So let's wait a little bit uh, to uh, let the system work out. Uh, pay attention to grouping elements uh, which uh, appear in the system and uh, how they move. So now they move uh, downstairs. Yeah, now everything disappeared. I will explain what uh, really happens now. So we'll, if we pay attention to this grouping element, uh, I will uh, open it. Uh, see what uh, s uh, does system say. So the incident uh, appeared and we have the uh, suspect that uh, there is an attack for one of our devices. So let us uh, click on it and uh, open it up and see what does the system give us about this uh, grouping element. So the system gives us here uh, under this element, it reflected the number of events. So if we uh, look at them attentively, we'll see uh, the event of uh, new host appearance. Okay, traffic was not generated, so I will switch it off. So just uh, to avoid it hindering our vision. So now we can see that the system uh, has detected a new unknown host. and. Uh, uh, from this unknown host, uh, there was an uh, uh, attempt of uh, scanning of the system, of the network. Further, it says that uh, from this unknown host, there was an attempt on, of an authorized communication, which are prohibited in an industrial network. We can see that. Afterwards, uh, the system says that uh, from the same host, there was an attempt to uh, check the passwords to uh, uh, brute force it. The same host attempted uh, to try to uh, guess the password. And if we look at the next event, which is very important to this part, the system identified uh, here that the attempt was a successful one. Someone, after logging in unsuccessfully, finally got through and were able to connect. So they have uh, guessed the password correctly. And uh, after that, the next event shows that uh, they uh, sent a command stop uh, to this PLC. So what does it, uh, um, how can we interpret it? So the system in the flow of events found such a uh, subsequent uh, number of events under one incident. So, and, uh, the so the chain of events are going to be provided by the colleagues from KL and will be updated from our updating services. That's all I wanted to say about our new products. Kaspersky Lab ICS for Networks, if you know, uh, the product is new. We assembled it from scratch. But it's not everything about the product, because there's a second part, which is called Ticks for Notes. There, we are not standing still. We are moving forward, and in the latest version that we produced, the summer we added two new components. First, file integrity monitor, which allows you to control the file integrity in the random file on disk. This could be for configuration of scatter system, or it could be 
a project of SCADA system. That's important. That's first part. Second part, that we have focused our attention very strongly onto the certification procedure with industrial NRAs. It's very important because we cannot work where we don't have certificate. What we did for certification at first, we developed a transparent procedure which we developed with vendors. It makes transparent picture when it's going to be completed and we will have to go step by step with industrial vendors. It allows to synchronize the time of execution with vendor and also what's important, we have finally completed our long-lasting story with certification uh, test 7 with Siemens. The certification and tests were successful and now we are on the stage of signing the respective documents with Siemens and I think we will sign them in the nearest future.